Hey everybody, Crimson Artist here, and I got a new series for you, it's called my R&D Logs. As some of you may or may not know, I do a lot of testing in StarMate to come up with various ideas for ships. I'll be compiling some of these ideas into videos such as these to show off some ideas or concepts that I've been working on. So without further ado, let's get into it. This first concept is called the Gyro Turret. I've been working on it ever since the rail showed up in the dev builds. The idea is, now that turrets have collision, I tried to design something that had free range of movement and could track enemies wherever they were. As you'll notice from the footage, a ship can fly in any direction, but the turret will always stay on target, no matter what angle. As long as the AI can sense the enemy, it'll orient the turret to target it. The system has complete spherical movement, only limited by turret tracking speeds and minor AI bugs. Overall, its AMS potential is amazing. Expect to see this on a lot of my ships. Design-wise, it's outrageously simple. The simple T-shaped formation allows for complete, unrestricted movement. This system takes advantage of the fact that blocks don't need to be directly connected in order to be considered part of the ship. As long as it's built far enough away, you won't have a problem. Taking this concept to the extreme, it's possible to stack multiple turrets on top of each other. As long as the T-shaped for docking formation is maintained, it's possible to have an infinite number of gyroscopic turrets, all of which going after their own targets. The applications for this are endless. Potentially one turret could be an anti-pirate while the other is an AMS, all of whom rotating around a central point. However, with more turrets comes the problem of collisions. While rotating to get to a target, it's possible that one turret could get in the way of another. Though with some smart designing, this shouldn't be a problem. Next up is a rather interesting concept, rotating fixed turrets, or autocannons as I like to call them. Now fixed turrets have been around for a long time, but rails offer a lot of new possibilities with them. The simple act of rotating or moving can completely change the way they work. Here I just have an example of some rotating guns. Just turn them on and you'll have automatic supplementary fire. But unlike a turret, you have control over what it shoots at by simply looking at an enemy. However, there is a catch to this. The AI is only capable of targeting cores. And if no core is in its sight, then it won't shoot. However, as long as you keep the enemy's core zeroed in, the autocannon will help you out. But if you want them to shoot, first they have to see their targets. For this purpose, all autocannons should be built and docked facing forward since the AI will only fire if a target is directly in front of them. Any other direction is for specialized weapons. Autocannons are also capable of working with AI fighters. They're extremely effective because AI ships will always target an enemy's core. This also works with AI factions like the pirates and the trading guild. I've also done some experimentation with push drones. Let's just say the results were quite cool. I have yet to test this concept out with vertical launch missiles, but I suspect it'd be quite effective. Finally, we have a hybrid of sorts. By combining the two technologies, I've been able to create a gyroscopic autocannon turret, if that makes any sense. It has the strength of both, but none of their weaknesses. And not to mention, it looks cool. By extension, it may be possible to add rotating autocannons to regular turrets to add both functionality as well as some pretty awesome rotating stuff. <laughs> and that's it for R&D Log 1. I hope you guys got some ideas from this. It's something that I've been meaning to do for a while, but I kept getting sidetracked. I'm always trying out new concepts and ideas, so hopefully this will become a new series for me. And once again, thanks for watching. Crimson Artist signing out.